Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back for another Simple Truth Update. And boy, oh boy, here we go again. On this Simple Truth Update, I'm gonna do everything in my power to remain composed and not get too fired up about this latest BS that's going on. Before I get started, I want to thank you for joining me here on this episode of The Simple Truth. And what we're going to talk about is, I, I think this is the fourth installment of the series I've been doing called Forced Compliance. Forced Compliance. I came across an article today. And that article um, was on Facebook. And so I went and I read, I saw the title of it and the title just... You know, I mean, man, it just, it, 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 it follows along with this mindset and this spirit of forced compliance when it comes to the alternative lifestyle. And let me just say this. A lot of people do not realize that those that participate in these initials in this lifestyle, all these pronouns that they give themselves, these adjectives, that they really don't understand something that my pastor has been saying for the longest is that the spirit that they are up under is a very militant spirit. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. I'm going to share that with you. But what we have going on is that the way that this situation initiated itself is I think it was just uh, a couple of years ago. I can't remember whether it was 2013 or 2014 when the ruling came down and there was a sweeping decision that gave that lifestyle the ability and the permission and the legal backing to have union and do it quote unquote under the law. See, they, they came in with a very, very subtle and deceptive motto. And that was that this was about love and it was about being able to love who you choose to love. And it was all about love. But the moment, the moment that the permission was given and the legal backing was provided, then you began and are beginning and continuing to see the militancy of this spirit. So this latest article, and I will include the article here in the description, but the latest article that came out is one that says, it simply boils down to a transgender identifying as a woman, a man identifying as a woman. And that's a key thing, is what they, they they're constantly pounding into the psyche of what they choose to identify as. I just did a video the other day that said, you know, what if someone wants to identify as a squirrel or a dog or a cat? Do we begin to treat them like a squirrel, a dog, or a cat? But that's neither here nor say. But So this is a male identifying as a female, a transgender female. And I want you to hear me real closely when I say this. And this is where the composure has to be done by myself. The transgender female, male identifying as a female is saying that straight men or heterosexual men do not have the right to... Let me make sure I make this clear. They do not, it ultimately comes down to, they don't have the right to have the feelings or the, or the attraction to just women, biological women. I, I was like, what? They are beginning to force feed us, again, force compliance, that if you have anything against their lifestyle what they choose to identify 
between their ears, what they choose to identify as is that it's considered to be bigoted, it's considered to be uh, uh, prejudicial because a man chooses to want to be with a woman and not a pretend woman that we don't have the right to make that choice and like I said the article will go into depth and I'm so fired up about this and I'm so upset that it's like wait a minute hold up so you're telling me that this spirit has become legally backed and so powerful in this wicked ass world that we live in that even when we want to stay in our lane as far as people who don't have that type of mindset who don't are not mentally messed up and confused that because we don't want to participate or even be bothered with that situation that we should be attacked or we should be have you know that legal backing that they have brought against us and brought to bear because we choose to not fall into the mental BS and say, well, because it looks like a, a, a woman and it acts like a woman, even though it may have male parts, I don't have a right to shun away or not want to be bothered with. This is absolutely ludicrous and crazy. And if, if someone is listening to this and you support that lifestyle and you cannot see how sick in the head this is, this even the article says that this is why back in the day that this was considered a mental illness, a psychological problem. Just because you make the choice to identify with something or just because you decide to make a choice, it does not mean that the choice you're making is a right choice. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm going to have people that support that way of thinking and that, that way of being. And they're going to say, well, I'm just as guilty of what I just said by the way I think. Well, what supports the way I think is first and foremost, the creator of the universe, the most high. That's the first thing. But the second thing that supports what, what, I, what I believe and that what I'm saying is nature. Nature supports the fact that there are procreation is for the purpose of replenishing the earth which was a command by the most high be fruitful and multiply you can't be fruitful and multiply in a joining and an act of something that does not create life second of all and, and bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, because I am doing everything to just stay calm. This alternative lifestyle you, uses the example of the civil rights movement when it comes to blacks in this country. <laughs> and they liken their struggle and their fight as a civil rights issue. See, the thing is, the color of one's skin can never be changed to force comply someone into accepting it. Now, laws changed, and the way people outwardly are to be treated, it, it changed, but yet you still had hatred, even to this day, of someone 
with a hume to their skin, especially if you are black in this country. I'm not talking about if you're Hispanic or if you're Asian, but if you are black in this country, you still have a strike against you for those that want to perpetuate hate upon you. It doesn't matter what the laws say out there because organizations, hate-filled organizations like the KKK and different white supremacist organizations, they still function. And it hasn't been eradicated even in 2017. The hatred still continues and there is still brutality done. Oh, oh. But now that those of this alternative lifestyle have gotten legal backing, it amazes me how so many things and so many attempts and so many force feedings of changing people's minds and their activities and their speech is happening because of it. It would be like if black people once they quote unquote were considered legally equal started to force feed their lifestyle or their uh, what is characteristically black upon the, the society as a whole. But that never happened. See, in this movement, the wickedness of this movement shows you that there is something else behind it. It's not just a movement of people that want to be treated equally but it's a movement of people that are forcing their way into getting everything that they want. Regardless to how you or anyone else thinks about it, they're gonna get their way. And they are, are becoming emboldened to make you know that they are gonna get their way. See, the simple truth of the whole matter is, is it boils down to something greater than anyone wants to accept. This mindset is spiritual. And it is a mindset and a spirit that is stronger than anyone could ever imagine if you do not believe in spiritual things. But when you know and believe in spiritual things, you realize what is going on. And the thing, the thing about it is, it's the purest evidence that whether you believe in him or not, Jesus the Christ, Yahshua Hamashiach, he's coming back. Because the Bible says clearly in Matthew 24, just as it was in the days of Noah. And you have to ask yourself and you have to look around and compare things. What was it like in the days of Noah? for everything that we are seeing today to begin to domino effect and fall into place just as it was then. And you have to look back and see, he destroyed this earth because everything that was in the minds of men to do, they were doing. Doesn't that look familiar to what's going on right now? And especially what's going on with this movement and this forced compliance that anything that they choose and want to do and to force upon people, it is happening. So it's the pure sign. If you're a believer in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, it's a, it's a pure sign that he is and will come back. And let me share with you that believe in him whether you believe in him on the surface or you believe in him in the depth of what the word says, let me share with you this one thing. He is not coming back weak, docile, and loving as he did the first time. He's coming back, but he's coming back for vengeance. And there is going to be a lot of hell to pay for this type of belief, this type of forced compliance upon those that truly believe in him there's going to be a, there's going to be payment to be reckoned i promise you that this has been the simple truth and as i always tell you it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually
do. I want to thank you once again for joining me on this episode of The Simple Truth. And I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon.